This year for Mother's Day, I'm going to make my mom a little tea box. She loves her tea, and I thought this would be a, a cute little way for her to store her tea bag. So I've um, purchased a box, and I'm going to use the Scan and Cut to cut out shapes to decorate the box. So you can see it's really cute. Um, it has tea on there and a border and a teapot. one side or the other. So this is going to this side is going to be my color for my little teapot and the brown side is going to be where I cut out uh, the letters T E A for T. And another piece of paper I will use for my border strips. So I think it's going to be very cute and my mom will love it. I've scanned in my paper and now I'm going to hit pattern and I'm going to hit this and I'm going to select the house um, kind of like a home home um, theme and scan through until I find <clears throat> my teapot. So I want the teapot to be about four inches wide and three inches approximately so we'll bring it up to 280 by four so I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to choose my teapot first and hit OK and set it so I already know that I don't want the teapot there. I want the blue writing that is right about here. And I'll bring my, my lid down as well. Perfect. And then I'm going to cut it out. So don't hit OK and cut and start. <laughs> go on to the next um, items I want to cut. I'm going to hit pattern and I want the letters so I'm going to scroll down with the arrow and I think this looks nice for what I want to use it for so I'm going to spell T E A and hit OK. Okay, close enough. So I'm going to set it and I'm going to scan in my paper. Um, remember when I told you this was double sided um, paper with one design on one side and one design on the other side. So I flip the paper over and I know that I want this to go in the upper corner, the word T, so I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to scan the paper in to show you uh, what it looks like and if it'll be on the paper. You could see where the teapot was cut out from the other side of the paper. So this looks good. Just move it just a little hair. Um, that's what's so nice about the scan and cut. You can move your words or <clears throat> designs anywhere on, on the paper before you cut it. In this case, I wanted a deeper, deeper color brown, which was up in the right corner. just to make sure and I would set it 
and OK. And then I would load my paper into the machine and cut it. So I have my elements all cut out. I've got the tea, the teapot, and then this cool border that I like so well. So now it's time to put them onto the box itself. <laughs> 